This is our sixth annual Arise Detroit Neighborhoods Rising Summit, and the whole purpose of the day is to give people practical strategies on how they can improve their neighborhoods, learn how to form block clubs, learn how to form youth programs, uh, getting funding, uh, developing businesses. So we have 12 workshops for the day with people who actually are involved in this uh, in a very personal, practical way, and they're going to share their experiences with our workshop participants. Hopefully they will learn something and they will walk away with ideas and inspiration to go out and improve their neighborhood. It's, our whole idea is to just mobilize people, to encourage people to get involved, do something, and help them do it. So it's not just get involved, but you have to help people, you have to teach people. So, and, 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 I, and I has grown. We started with 22 founding organizations. Now we have over 400 churches, block clubs, community groups, small businesses, all joined with the common mission of creating a better Detroit. So we think it's a great Detroit a success story where literally we've helped the city rise. We have our challenges, but we have people engaged, people who have hope, and that is what has made us grow. Right, so we have to continue to galvanize, mobilize, overcome challenges, but I think the future is a bright one. And I think it's evidenced by today. Look at all the people here on a Saturday morning when they could be doing other things. So we think uh, I'm very positive and hopeful about the future and about the energy and about the people you see. So um, I can't be anything but hopeful about Detroit's future. I'm Wendy Jackson. I'm a deputy director at the Kresge Foundation with our Detroit program. Kresge Foundation, we were founded in 1924 by Sebastian Kresge who was the uh, founder of the Kmart, what ultimately became the Kmart Corporation. Um, so we are, Detroit is our hometown, but we do fund across the country and we have a program in South Africa as well. Um, in Detroit, we fund across a number of different areas that focus on issues like neighborhood revitalization, economic development, transit, um, early childhood development and learning, arts and culture as well as um, health and in the environment. So we have a very robust set of investment opportunities that we seek to pursue in Detroit. We're very pleased to be able to sponsor this event um, every year because it is the one place where neighborhood residents who are working to revitalize their communities can come and interact with one another, learn what, you know, what's working in one neighborhood and take that back to their neighborhood. Also learn what's not working and share information about how to do things differently. They're able to access different experts who are working across the city to improve neighborhoods and it all happens right here every year uh, with the Arise Detroit Neighborhood Summit. My name is Louise Guyton and I'm Vice Chairman of the Arise Detroit Board and I'm really excited about the sixth summit that is being held here today. This event is so important because it gives the attendees uh, the opportunity to get some valuable resources and tools that they typically would not uh, have um, be available to them and I'm just so excited that all of these people who came will be receiving information from every area of our society to make Detroit a better place. I had a unique encounter with Luther Keith. Um, I was at that time a um, vice president at Comerica Bank responsible for giving loans, for um, giving grants to the city of Detroit and the nonprofit organizations. Luther came into my office and asked for us to support the first neighborhood today. And um, I listened to his story and for some reason I, I felt that he was serious and he had a passion for what he was doing. So we gave, we meaning Comerica Bank, gave uh, Arise Detroit the very first grant for $10,000 and we supported them every year until I retired and when I retired they asked me to become a part of the board and my job was to ensure that the relationship between Arise Detroit and Comerica continued and it, it has until this day. So I'm real excited about how I've seen um, Arise Detroit grow and how the organization is able to pull other nonprofits from all over the city on one given day and they're out there you can see the camaraderie you can see the sense of community among the people so I mean it's indeed rising so um, that's how I feel that Detroit Arise has positively impacted uh, what's going on in our city. 
Today I'll be speaking at lunch about Impact Detroit and the work that we do and encouraging other people to get involved with that work. Um, I got involved with Arise Detroit and Impact Detroit when I came back to the city three years ago. Um, I was working in St. Clair County in Port Huron with Michigan State University and driving 50 miles one way, 100 miles round trip up there. I didn't move up there because I was still dedicated to Detroit. When Detroit Works 2 was initiated, I went to a community meeting and, and saw the controversy around that issue when people thought that the city was going to be taking their neighborhoods away and taking their community away. I knew then that I needed to get involved in that process because that's not what this was about. This is about bringing people together to change the city. Arise Detroit is an event that brings people together around specific issues in the community to talk about them, come together, uh, come up with ideas, share information, and then go back into the community and put these things into play. So we're in three communities right now. We're in Denby, Denby High School. We're in the Seven Mile I-75 area in an area called Bleeding Heart Design. They use art as a way of encouraging economic development. And we're in the Vanguard community working on the Dolores Bennett Park. So these three projects are projects that the Impact Detroit group is working on and it's directly tied to the Detroit Future City framework. So our work is directly tied to that framework. Now we have groups like Black Family Development, Greening of Detroit, um, CDAD, that's the Community Development Advocates, uh, Michigan Environmental Council, the um, uh, and Excellent Schools Detroit, about 25 different groups, individuals, and businesses that come together to provide services to these three groups that we talked about. Now the unique way that we do this is instead of one group going out and requesting dollars from a foundation, we come together as a group and bring our collective resources together to provide services collectively to individuals that are working to uplift the framework. Denby, Bleeding Heart Design, and Vanguard are doing just that. And so what we do is provide technical assistance along the lines of land use, capacity building, neighborhood organizing, uh, technology, storytelling, anything that they need to be successful in raising the level and quality of life in their community. That's what Impact does. Well, I am Marshall Bullock. The second, I am the District 7 manager. I became a part of this event because Arise Detroit and Luther Keith are one of our partners in, in uh, beautifying this city and cleaning up blight and fighting blight and neighborhoods. And the summit is an instrumental part in what we do as district managers on the ground at each of our districts and interacting with all our community organizations. Arise Detroit and other organizations such as this help us do what's needed in the community. We are, uh, our, our, our administration is based on every neighborhood has a future and neighborhood organizations help us complete that job and they hold us to the fire on a lot of these things. And the good things they're doing, we support them with our resources. We get dumpsters out for cleanups. We get boards out for board ups. And we help, you know, and if there's homes that need to come down, we go through that process and it's not an easy fix all the time, but we try to make sure that we can get a house down and if we can't, what we can and can't do, we try to explain why we can't and if we can or how. It may not necessarily be something that the city can do, but it's something that we can help be a resource and a partner in doing. Because everything is not necessarily the city's responsibility, but we want to wrap ourselves around that in the communities and the neighborhoods and the block clubs and the block club associations to make more impact. Mr. Keith is phenomenal. First off, he's also Luther Badman Keith. He's a musician himself. So he plays the blues. He strums with one of my great friends, Paul Miles. Uh, so him being an artist and an author and somebody committed to the community. He lives in Detroit, has lived here for forever, raised a family here. Wonderful, wonderful family when you think about his wife and his daughter and his commitment already. So what he does with Neighborhoods Day is he's expanded his family to include every neighborhood. So many nooks and crannies 
hundreds of organizations connect to this. So when you think about what this does and what this means to the city of Detroit, it's beautiful. If you're a part of Detroit, support Detroit. You know, uh, it's so many things about Detroit that we hear that are negative because I think it's provocative and people pay attention to that. But it's so many positive things here. So if you can connect to what's positive and you can help, whether that be with money, whether that be with time, or whether that be with prayers, or whether that be with just, well, wishes, please do. Arise Detroit is one of those wonderful things where we as the community can step forth get educated and see where we can unite ourselves together with our pennies and with our dollars and with our resources. So whether we have money or not, we say young people and students must become first. What I'd like to see is more political action impacting into Arise Detroit to bring our young people. We need our young people to step forth to carry on the heritage. I've been doing it for 50 years now. Who's going to take the place? when I step aside, when you step aside. So we're doing good work. The neighborhoods are so important. It is now a time for us to arise with the young people, go to the community centers, the, the homes where we have set aside some of our return imprisoned men and women and get them energized to come back to the city and make it great as great as it can be. Right now I'm looking into business administration, that's my major here at Wayne County Community College. And I'm looking to open my own bank branch as well as a clinic for adolescents teens. Well they have a program for, that is revitalizing the lots in Detroit and right now blight is a big problem here in Detroit. So with them helping with the, the lot program it's going to be very very helpful to get Detroit back on the right track. Detroit offers a lot, a whole lot of opportunity and a lot of resources. So, you know, to get out and express your talent and help Detroit any way you can would be helpful in any way. My name is Brian Fountain. I'm a detective with the Detroit Police Department, and I was invited as a moderator by Luther King. I teach uh, about 25 different classes from identity theft to uh, stranger danger to, uh, uh, like I mentioned before, burglar prevention. And it's important because uh, people have to be educated as to how to prevent a burglar from coming in your back door. What are some of the things to strengthen the door? Uh, in one of our classes, we had a lady who just didn't know how to organize her block club. And after the class, she it's, it was like the light bulb came on. She had five or six agencies that said, hey, give us a call. We're going to take you the rest of the way and get in your block organized. Uh, actually, this is probably about my third Neighborhood Summit Day, and it's, they've always had interesting workshops. Different people have been coming here learning things, and I've participated in two of the neighborhood uh, days. Uh, this past one was in East Village, and uh, it was, again, a chance for the community to get together and put on some programs so that they would a lot of people came out that didn't know that anybody was doing certain things in their neighborhood. And they said, oh, didn't know this was happening in my neighborhood. And it's, it's and very good. This is definitely worth some, uh, donating to for your time, your money, anything like that. I'm a volunteer myself uh, with a, a nonprofit in the city of Detroit. So uh, this group has pulled us all together. And it's definitely worthwhile. Detroit is a place to where you can uh, just grow and uh, anything you desire to do, uh, this is a platform to get these things done. Uh, uh, it's a global community and the whole world knows about this city here and uh, uh, we just don't want you to be left out. Uh, like you said all day, if you're not uh, at the table, uh, you're certainly on the menu. We had a tremendous uh, 60th Annual Neighborhoods Day, Neighborhood Summit rather, for Arise Detroit. Um, over 300 people all over the city of Detroit uh, came, uh, got information from our workshops and organized neighborhoods, fighting crime, fighting blight, creating businesses, developing youth programs, a lot of positive energy, exchanges of information, uh, exhibitors giving information, and uh, hopefully that then people will be excited and inspired to go out into their neighborhoods and to create some great things. Uh, to continue to move the city forward. And that's what the day is all about. And I'm very heartened by uh, the response that we've gotten and it continues to grow. And uh, we just want to continue to make it bigger, better, get more people involved. Sign up for our newsletter, or become a partner or volunteer to our, at our website, arisedetroit.org, www.arisedetroit.org, or just give us a call, 313-921-1955. Again, Arise Detroit, we are not a direct service organization. We connect 
with lots of organizations that we have now over 400 organizations that we work with all across the city, churches, community groups, black clubs. So if you call us, our goal is to connect you with the program or an organization that's doing something of interest to you and that you can help uh, contribute uh, to a better Detroit. The Rise Detroit is a nonprofit mobilization organization of over 400 uh, organizations, churches, black clubs, community groups, uh, prom promoting volunteers and community activism and positive medium just to create a better Detroit. Uh, all those things go together. At the end of the day, we want to connect with programs and people that are having a positive impact on creating a better Detroit. That is our goal, that is our mission. Of course, our biggest event is our Neighborhoods Day event, which is our citywide community service day. It's always the first Saturday of August. Uh, next year will be our 10th annual Arise Detroit Neighborhoods Day. Over 200 community service projects all over the city in different neighborhoods. People clean up neighborhoods, uh, building houses, concerts, health fairs, festivals all over the city of Detroit. Uh, that's our major event, but we're partnering with community organizations on numerous events throughout the year, like the Blight Blue Camp with Detroit Future City. So we're partnering with groups all the time. It's not, Arise Detroit is not just about what Arise Detroit does, it's about what we are working with groups all over the city to do collectively.